Hey, welcome back to Million Beautiful Views. So today we're going to be doing this really sparkly neutral look. And this is on the blush kind of side of the pink. So, well, a little bit of coral. So I'm going to start off with um, my Pro Concealer in my yellow base. And I'm going to go into the Juvia's Palace in this brownish kind of almost caramel color. I really, really love this color for a transition. So... Um, this is like my new go-to. So now I'm going in with a lighter brown and this is just going to help kind of blend those colors together and kind of help the transition up to the brow bone. So now I'm going in with this really kind of medium deep um, burgundy color and that's just going to help kind of uplift that crease and I want it to be on the reddish browner side and this happens to give me a little more of that red burnt color but not too burgundy so I do like the transition between those two colors so I'm going to deepen that a little bit more in my crease just to give it a little more depth inside that crease because I really don't have one so I have to kind of create that illusion So now I'm going back in with that same caramel kind of brownish color and that um, is just going to help really just blend those colors together just so that you can still have that gradient look. So I'm going back in with that light brown and that's just going to help blend everything together and doing that it just kind of reinsure that everything is blended perfectly and you really can't see any of those three different colors back to back to back you can kind of see it blends together so i'm going back in with that deeper burgundy color and that's just to bring back the life of that color again because sometimes you can lose it after blending so much so now i'm going in with the um yellow pro concealer again and i'm just going to cut out my crease and I really wanted to have something more brighter because I wanted the colors to pop a little bit more so that's why I chose that yellow base and this really does help cut the crease more clean like and as you can see I'm using a angled brush and that one in particular helps me cut it the best and then I'm going in with a flat eyeshadow brush just to smooth everything out I'm going back in with that angle brush again just so I can wing out that yellow base so it can create like this faux wing look just like you would do like a wing eyeliner and I'm just going to blend out the edges and just kind of sharpen it up a little bit so I'm going to just kind of pat everything together and blend it out so it can be a little more softer. Going back in with the Juvia's Palette. And this is the um, that really white shade that's in there. It's almost silver, but more on the whiter side. More champagne-like, should I say. And I'm just going to put that in the first layer from the inside of my eye. And I'm just going to blend. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to go in with a corally sparkly tone and that's just going to start transitioning in this faded ombre look. So that's going to go right next to that one and we're just going to blend both of those colors together so they can be seamless so it will look chunky. I'm going in with another cool shade that was right next to that one and that's going to help blend that one in. This one is on the matte side which is fine. Um, I don't necessarily look for the same type of sparkle or whatever this just helps go into the black which that will be coming up next so this kind of blush tone next to the coral is just going to give it like that gradient look which is going to go perfectly and you will see so i'm going in with a brown shade this is more of like a chocolate color and this is going to blend into the blush so then it can almost start to help kind of blend all those colors together so when I go into the black that brown will help blend into the um, blush which both of those tones almost as you can see blends perfectly so I'm going in with a really flat shader brush and this one just an eyeshadow brush but it's super flat and it has a lot of control bristles so this is what I chose to start packing in that black and I'm blending the black into the brown into that last wing part and I'm just going back in with a little more of that chocolate tone to blend in with the black. 
Now I'm going to clean up with a makeup wipe and kind of sharpen that line up a little bit more. Now I'm going in with my NYX glitter glue and I chose this chunky glitter. It's pretty much just round small circles and you can lay those flat onto the surface or you can just have like a few here and there. So I chose to do it more in a structured line. Kind of give that cut crease like more of a sparkle and not be so flat. So I put the glue on a angled brush, the one that I used to cut my crease to put down the glue. And those sparkles I'm placing down on top of the glue and I'm using the tweezer to kind of anchor those flat, that flat glitter to stay in a line and in a row. And it helps me give me a little more control on where I want to place it before it dries. So just using like a back of an eyeshadow brush is helping me to pick up those small circles. And that sweet, the back of the end of the tweezer is helping me to anchor everything in a row. So it don't have to be perfect, but it does help to kind of get everything aligned together. So now I've put on um, some eyeliner and some lashes. So I'm going in with my Ulta Beauty Moisturizing Foundation Stick. And this is one of my favorite foundations. Um, I came across this through a client. She picked it up on a random and I loved it on her. So I went and got one myself and I've been using it for more of a full coverage kind of look. I've never been extremely full coverage, but medium. Um, I have a tendency to go more towards the dewy look. So that's why I like this one. Put my concealer on. So I'm putting my concealer on underneath my eye, forehead, nose, and chin. So I'm going to use my foundation brush to kind of blend out those edges. Just so that you don't see like a distinct line of where I put my concealer. I wanted a more natural type of look and I wanted my eyes to be the center focus. So after I blend that out, I'm going to put in some loose um, setting powder. And this one is in a banana color. So it does have a yellow undertone to it i like this best i don't have crazy flashback using this type of tone most translucent white or um no tone really gives me flashback so i do like that yellow undertone it kind of brightens it up a little bit so i'm putting it underneath my eyes my chin and i'm going to dust off just a little bit underneath my eye just so i can have like a more smoother place to kind of smoke out the bottom so I'm going back in with that burgundy brownish tone, and then I'm gonna smoke out the bottom, the outer edge. I'm going back in with that coral color, and I'm going to blend that into that burgundy tone, burgundy brown tone. And it will just kind of give that same illusion that I did at the top. So now I'm going in with that sparkly coral, and that one is just gonna help this one is my Fenty palette, and this one is that rosy gold. And I'm popping that right in between um, the corner of my eye at the top and at the bottom. So I'm going in with a black eyeshadow to line my waterline. I personally like uh, black eyeshadow, and I like to put a little bit at the bottom and smoke it out a little bit more. So now you're just going to put on a little bit more mascara and kind of just cover up little imperfections that you see with that black eyeshadow, which helps combine everything to have a more flawless look. So I'm going in with that brown that I used earlier on my eyes, and I'm going to be using this to kind of bronze up my skin a little bit. I do want to contour. I just really wanted to just warm up my skin a little bit, and I'm going in with that same shade on a flat foundation brush and I'm going to buff that out and kind of contour my nose with this eyeshadow. Now this is the Juvia's Palace um, highlighter in a gold. I can't remember the name but I'll have everything down below. Whatever I miss I'll always put it down in the uh, description. So I'm using it as my highlighter also on my nose, on my cheekbone, my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bone. This is the Wet n Wild Coral Blush. And I like this one on my skin tone. It's my most favorite one. And now this is the finished look. 